Mice pie, mice never tasted so delicious. Today, we are going to show how to estimate the value of pi using Monte Carlo simulation. First, let's consider a square with the size of lungs 2 times r. Then the area of this square is going to be s squared equals the square of 2 times r, which equals 4 times the square of r. Now, let's draw a circle inside this square. Now, the radius of this circle is going to be r. Therefore, the area of the circle is s circle equals pi r squared. Now, the ratio of their areas is going to be s circle over s squared, which equals pi r squared over 4r squared. Now, r squared and r squared cancel out. Now, of course, this equals what? Pi over 4. If we multiply 4 on both sides of the equation, then we get the following. 4 times s circle over s squared equals what? 4 times pi over 4. Now, 4 and 4 cancel out, so we have 4 times s circle over s squared equals pi. That is, pi equals 4 times the area of the circle over the area of the square. Now, if we draw many points randomly selected within the square, then we will see that the area of the circle over the area of the square is going to be approximately the number of points within the circle over the number of points within the square because these points are randomly selected within the square. Now, since pi equals 4 times s circle over s square, then we have the following approximation. That is, pi equals 4 times s circle over s square approximately equals 4 times the number of points within the circle over the number of points within the square. Now, if we draw more and more points from the square, then this approximation will be, will be better and better. Now, let's run some simulation. Thank you.